Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we uh, had to take out one hell of an enemy, a glowing one, that I managed to finally take the leg off of and then kill right here. <sighs> that was hell to deal with. As you can see, all the blood that he spilled, and uh, he just would not go down. He was a skulled enemy, which means I wouldn't have really been able to take him had it been, you know, not for my hundreds of stim packs, well, it's more like dozens, and bunch of ammo for this gun, which I've now basically run a lot out of. So, now we're just going to continue on with exploring like I was planning on doing before that crazy went on. Uh, and I have a feeling that I've just dealt with the majority of the enemies in this area. Which uh, I hope is the case. I really hope that's the case. Oh, I can't really get in there. Okay. Is there anything else around here? Anything else? Because there is a tape missing from the uh, two that I found of the new squirrel. That little thing. That uh, I need to read, or not read per se, listen to. That's the thing. But uh, I can't seem to find the second one, which is disturbing. I found the third one here, found the first one over there, somewhere in this area. And there was a, now that I think about it, there was a safe over here that I missed because I was listening to the story and didn't want to interrupt it. But uh, yeah, uh, there's a computer here that's novice lock, which I can easily get into right now. Um, fails. Let's check that. Got one. So, let's check if it's the uh, S. Well, that's a possibility. That's definitely a possibility. Either that or some other letter in plays matches up. Um, rules. Let's try that. There we go. Perfect. And I want to unlock the safe on my own. So I can get all the XP I can. <laughs> I can. Oh no. If I'm late again, the boss will kill me. Alright, there we go. Yes. Fiddler's Green Trailer Key. Does that mean I can get into the Master Lock trailer? Is that what that means? We'll find out. That would be cool, but we'll find out. <laughs> yes. Perfect. What do we got going here? Well, we had traps outside with mines, so we might as well make sure there's nothing uh, left a chance on this one. Well, this is an army guy for sure. Gamma rounds and fusion cells. Well, he was definitely army. That's for sure. Can't get into this for some reason. That's weird. But that armor is T-45. Not the best, but that fusion core is useful. Why did I just stand in there? Why did I just do that? I meant to grab the fusion core, damn it. Damn it, damn it, get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Well, it's probably a 99 now. Yep, figured. All right, let me look at the other ones that I have. I got 18, which will go into a companion's set of power armor should I ever grab one and uh yep that one will go into mine first uh boy what do we got in here uh low sided tuned hunting rifle let me look at that see what we got on there it's low sided which is bleh tuned which is eh but I can at least I don't know let me just look at what else we got on it a bayonet. We don't really need a bayonet on ours. We need a suppressor, if nothing else. I was just hoping we could grab whatever mods it had, and we could add it to our new one, which is a legendary one. But looks like that's not the case, and it's not valuable enough to me to have me justify carrying it. Rather, I cannot speak English because that glowing one pretty much sapped my brain of everything that is 
Intelligent. Dog me found something. Yay. Let me just cook what we have here first. Iguana on a stick. Where did I get iguana bits? I don't remember that. And I'm not going to cook the squirrel bits because I'm going to use that for squirrel stew. But I'm going to let him lead the way to wherever the hell he's going. What, weren't you going to show me something? Thought you were going to show me something. Apparently not. Alright then. Fuck me. I just continue on with my search of this area. Checking out all the fun stuff. All the Zam Bambos that seem to be around. Yep, nothing there. Nothing useful here. Okay. This one's been... Well, not thoroughly checked, but checked. Check over here now. I checked over here a little bit. Got that and that, but... Chemistry station. Huh. That's something, anyway. What do we got in here? Uh, nothing. Okay, I just realized I killed a ghoul a bit ago. While I was in the fight with him. I think this is the one. So, yeah. Huh. <sighs> I think this might have been the only trailer I haven't searched. Aha! And that's tape two. Let's play that. To listen Story in. Story time, Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of the new squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree? He needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the red squirrel. The red squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of holotape. Please insert holotape three. You won't regret this, huh? Oh, I'm full now. Great. I didn't realize that while I was in the middle of listening to that thing. Okay. I have holotape three, so Got I'm going to swap to that once I get everything here. First, this terminal is a little interesting. Uh, what do we got? Nothing? Nothing? Huh. Well then, fuck me. Dog meat. You big old dude. Hey. Hey, hold on to something for me, would you? There we go. Uh, he has a lot of shit on him currently. I should not use him for inventory <laughs> as much as I do. Okay. Uh, this is definitely one I need to pull stuff off of. The armor piercing automatic receiver, not so much. That a large magazine, though, definitely, and I think that sharpshooter's grip too. Although I don't know if I have that on mine currently. Uh, I'll find out in a moment. I think mine's a low sided here. Yeah, this one right here. I'm pretty sure this one's mine. So yeah, I need to get the magazine off. Nope, that's not mine. Now that I recognize a little bit better that I have it equipped. Yeah, this one's mine. The large magazine will be... Actually, I have the quick eject. So it'd be better to do that. But that uh, sharpshooter grip would actually be very useful compared to my uh, comfort grip here. Huh. Alright, well, there's definitely some things on that one I can grab. Anyway. Uh, I forgot to give hey. you shit if I was busy in the middle of... Examining weapons that I shouldn't have been examining in the first fucking place. Alright, let's give you that one, that one. Uh, Ghoul Slayer, Double Barrel. I should have been using this against the... <laughs> I should have been using this against the glowing one. Damn it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. 
Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm so friggin' stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'll drop the revolver pistol, because I don't need that. Don't know why I picked it up. <laughs> I have the rifle, which is good enough. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, I'm so stupid. I'm just equipping that right now. What what do I have for shotgun? I don't have a shotgun on me. Good. I'm going to. Uh, what? Where's this? Yeah, I'm gonna put the relentless one where that hunting rifle is. There we go. And that's a short, powerful one. I'll pull the stuff off of that. <laughs> Put this one here. Uh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I went through all that trouble for no reason. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pop the next in the storyline. And I'm just going to sit here. And cry. Storytime Simon here with the exciting conclusion to The New Squirrel. Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The Red Squirrel was gone. Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. Cats! Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the red squirrel. I'm sorry, he said. They were following me and I couldn't bring them to my tree. They would have eaten my family. As the cats ascended the tree and began to devour Ricky's friends and family, Ricky reflected on his decisions. His last words were, I really wish I would have trusted my elders. The end. Wow! Wow! What the fuck? Wow! Okay, that's a really convoluted way to write a story to make sure the message comes out the way you want it. Oh dear gods, why? I'm going to take away my radiation for a bit. And I'm going to eat a grilled rad stag. And just reflect... On wow, that story though. That is a level of freaky and wild that I did not expect to listen to on my way to try and get to Oberlin Station. Oh, okay. I, um, I don't know what to say other than wow. Just fucking wow. Alright. I'm just going to try and make what, my way to this place. But then again, looks like that's going to end up having some sort of enemy force. With all of that water around it. So I kinda want to leave it alone for now. Considering I do need to go back and drop stuff off at my home. I'm starting to think I should just leave this there currently. And go back home to drop stuff off. And I should pop back here whenever I'm ready. 
I'm gonna do that. <laughs> that story, though. <laughs> Oh, what a lesson. <laughs> Don't bring people in because it will lead to your friends and family being eaten by cats. <laughs> what in the fuck? Okay. It's about 100 pounds of weight dropped off, but holy shit. What in the fuck? Game. <laughs> what in the fuck? Oh, jeez. Oh, lordy. I just, I just can't. I just cannot do anything. Oh, I just can't even. I can't. <laughs> cannot even. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to collect myself enough to continue on. Um, I was going this way. I don't know why I was walking it, considering I have no place to actually go. There's some things I need to sell off, but I can do that eventually on my own. Once I get to uh, Diamond City over here. First, I should probably deal, uh, not deal, rather, I should probably head over to Fiddler's Green, that weird little place, and just, uh, continue on. Once I get to Oberlin Station, I'll come back and throw the mods from the other guns onto the legendary ones I've collected thus far. <sighs> okay, then. let's continue on like I planned before things went weird. <sighs> what the? Could have sworn I heard a beep. A different kind of beep. Huh. And again, it might have been just me sighing in exasperation and... <laughs> other things. Oh! Is that how I'm supposed to get on? Crossing this thing? Over to the other thing? Uh, looks like no, because there's no path across from here. Yep. That wouldn't have worked. Oh well. Okay. I'll just continue on this way then. Like I was supposed to. Alright. That was something else. That was something else. I'm getting closer, that's for sure. At least there's that. There's a building here. I don't trust for a second. I'm gonna have my gun out, just on the off chance. Especially because there's a cooking station here. What do we got? Well, they haven't attacked me yet. Hey, Scaver. Oh, uh, traitor. Oh! Cool beans, what's new? Nothing you'd be interested in. Now, I got merchandise to move here, if you're still buying. Sure, why not? I mean, you seem a little pushy, but I'll let's barter. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you got some decent stuff, at least. I got gold watch, pork and beans, rat poison... You got mainly junk, though, to be perfectly honest, but, uh, that's, you know, I can't really talk too much, because that's basically what I got, too. Uh, some rounds? I'll definitely take that. I can never have too many rounds. Um, sell some of the stuff I have here. Alright, um, guns. I... What do I have here? This is a standard magazine. I can sell that easy. Just making sure I'm not missing any sort of stuff I can easily, you know, pull off and throw onto 
my other guns. Uh, this one's a large magazine, which is not great because I'd rather have the quick eject. But uh, that's just me. Sharpshooter's grip, I definitely need to keep that for, though. Um, I could sell that one, sure. Um, sell this one, too. And I don't think you can buy m much else of my stuff, so I'll just consider that good for now. Thank you! Alright, and... There's some stuff here that you don't seem to be pissed that I'm taking. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Cat bowl! Huh. I wonder if I leave one out. That'd be too smart, but I'm going to take it anyway. I'm going to try something with my settlement eventually, once I get back. But yeah, that'd be too smart. I don't think that could be coded easily enough. So I doubt they actually did that. But uh, it's an idea, and I'll definitely follow through with it. Yeah, that's not going to work either. That's for sure. Oh, okay, that was dog meat. I thought that was something else. I was about to flip. What we got here? Uh, it's no enemies I can easily see. So, it's good at least. Can we proc it without causing enemies to be a thing? Also, what's this place called? Is a better question I should be asking right now. Forest Grove Marsh. Okay, then. And we got some ammunition over here, and we also have some... leaking gas of some kind. So let's not cause any explosions right now. 44 round. 50 caliber rounds. Uh... 38, 556, and 10 millimeter. Alrighty. Looks good thus far. Ho ho ho! Suppressed hardened piercing submachine gun. I think that's better than all the machine guns I'm currently carrying. So, I will definitely look at that. Um, do I have any that are actually... No, I do not have any that are... Quick... Uh, uh, quick buttoned or faved there we go it's quick buttoned what the fuck am I talking about okay I think I'm going to do that with this one though I'm going to throw that I think over here yeah there we go that'll work for like immediate close range comp close range I cannot speak English anymore the the uh, glowing one has no broken me pick this. really I can't pick that are you sure? Are you willing to try? I don't think you're willing to try. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to end the episode here for right now because apparently my brain is broken. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and I cannot do my outro correctly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.